Guys, Ed Walters here. I'm in my studio at the Truffitt Golf Centre Academy down here in Warrington. Today's topic I want to talk about is how to improve a little bit more quality of your iron strike, especially as it's coming into winter. I know a lot of you guys will struggle with making crisp contact through the winter. Some even try and feel like you want to pick it off the top of the surface. We don't want to do that. We want to have a look at how we can improve that quality, maximise our distance and enjoy the golf a little bit more. So let's take a look. Right, so when we're talking about improving the quality of our iron strike, we've got a couple of key points that we want. First one is we need to make sure that we want to take the golf club from its original position, so its normal static loft address, and we want to feel like through impact we get a little bit of shaffling. So we decrease the loft, or we lower the dynamic loft, the loft impact from there. Number two is you want to make sure that we strike the ball before we strike the turf. If we have a little look at this image here on the mat, we can see I've got a chalk line just drawn on the mat there. We want ball, so we can see where half of the ball is behind the line, so we want to be striking the ball and then the turf right at the bottom, just underneath the golf ball at the front side there, and then divot's going to come through, rather than as we see there, if I was just to roll it this way, we see here, we can see we would strike from this point, which is the common one, striking the turf behind the golf ball. Sometimes it's more than an inch, it's just an inch here in this image. So sometimes we can see here, shaft is leaning backwards, so that's increasing loft rather than being slightly forward and lowering the dynamic loft. So it's those keys that we really want to do. So a really nice drill and a feeling that you guys can get to get out there and get this slightly dynamic lower loft would be if you got the image or the feeling that your lead hand if we look at an address position here and we see how there's a little bit of angle in this lead wrist here well at impact we want to change that angle a little bit more this way this is an exaggeration of it but we see how it's now sort of bowed rather than cupped in there so if we can feel in your mind that the logo on the glove as you're making a downswing logo on the glove is pointing downward more rather than upward more then you're going to be able to keep the club off the ground and be more likely to get your ball turf contact rather than getting that extension of the club early getting that ground first impact so let me just hit a couple as we go through so I've just got my 7-9 here, I'm just going to hit a couple out onto the range and I'm just going to make the swing with the only thought of getting the feeling that I'm turning the logo on the glove down towards the ground going through the impact. Okay, let's see how this goes. So that was really nice strike, you could probably see a little bit of chalk dust come up there if you have a little look on there as well, you can probably see that little pink line there off the chalk as I've gone through. That's the point on where the club has hit the ground. So let me hit that one more. I'm just going to put it in there, slightly different position on the line so we can try and get a little explosion of dust again. And when you're out there practicing on the mats, when you're on the driving range through the winter, take a piece of chalk, draw the line on the ground and it gives you that instant feedback especially when the half the ball is behind the line of where it is that you make contact on the ground. So again same feeling, I just want to feel in the downswing that I get the logo turning down towards the ground a little bit more on the glove on that lead hand so the knuckles are downward a little bit more. And again really nice strike Really nice control, a little touch of draw, and again, a little bit more chalk dust in there, so it's going into the grooves as we go through. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Just don't be afraid, just click that little button there in the link on screen now. Um, you can follow me on social media. The links for all my social media are in the description below. Don't forget to post your comments. Love to hear your thoughts on whether you've tried this or whether it's something that you're going to go out and try and see the success that you're going to get from it. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.